my inspiration is uh, activism and justice. Because when I was illustrator, I always make things with political commentaries and always that gave me problems because you're fighting and I love that because I love activism, it's part of my identity. And when I become toy maker, I said, okay, I'm not going to make commentaries or political commentaries anymore because I just want to make toys with glitter and ponies and nothing else. But it was impossible. I made the buff of it, but then I made the Femininsha and, and then I made the Abort Simpson, like you saw. March engineer that made another thing with her life. Hello everybody, I'm Sophie Lee. My name is Sofia Libertad, what it means no feliz and freedom. And the contraction is Sophie Lee. I start with punk and pop toys since 2017. I've been making toys around six years. I start with toys that I had on my childhood, like my little pony or like Care Bears. And then I start to make toys that I couldn't have in my childhood because I was a girl. Nowadays, I am some like a non-binary person. So when I was a girl, when I was a child, I used to want like toys like He-Man or, for example, Star Wars figures, and I couldn't have because my gender. So making toys gave me possibility to make by myself my own version of those toys. My influences are my activism and my studies in anthropology. In Argentina, we have a very, very good university when you can learn anthropology. It's very well known around the world. So I think those are my influences. This is inside the punk and pop. It wasn't easy at all to start to make toys being a woman. For example, in Argentina, there are a few people making that, like around six person or seven person before me. I've been the first woman in Argentina making bootleg toys based on action figures. And it wasn't at all easy to start because I, I asked a lot of people to learn and it, it wasn't easy. And I learned a lot through the videos from Instagram and asking people from other countries. Every field is difficult to get in if you are a woman or non-binary or another identity that is not a man. What I'm saying is you have to fight for example, trying to buy some stuff or materials when you are in a shop and it's not common to be a woman buying something like machines or whatever. I felt that the treat for me, it wasn't the same like a man and this is an adversity that I had. Maybe when a woman started to make toys or when I started as a woman it was weird for for example, uh, the scene of my country. And at the beginning, it was difficult to make friends. And there are more in the scene hostility. But for that reason, I start to make friends in another countries. That it was my way to survive on the scene, like making relation with people away from the scene of my country. I met, for example, Dove from Vicky A and I started to make exclusive for him. And I'm continually part of different shows, for example, in the States. People invite me and love me, um, always help me with everything. And I make very strong friendship with people, not especially from my country, but from state, for example. So 
that happened trying to survive being a woman in the scene. This is my story. I can say my first action figure toy or bootleg toy was the Buffo Fett. It was a mix between Buffo Met and Boba Fett vintage figure. And I started with that. Also, I made a Femininsha that is the feminist warrior version of Wonder Woman based on vintage Wonder Woman action figure from Superpower. Also, I made my line, My Divine Pony, based on my little pony, G1, the one generation of ponies. I made a lot of figures. I made figures, for example, for exclusive, for BPA toys. The first one was User of the Force, that is a figure based on Tron, the original movie. And it's like a mashup between Tron and Star Wars. Also, I made another exclusive that it was Teal Carbonite Dua Spark. It's a double pack and it's like a couple of Han Solo and Leia, but in a traditional tattoo version, like a fine up version of them. I love that pack and I also made um, Crimson Running, that is like a samurai version of Vader, Outer Space Density, that is a figure based on the vintage figure of Death Vader and based on Back to the Future in a very, very well-known scene when Marty presents to his father uh, <laughs> And it's like a mashup of popular culture in that movie. On 2022, I made Always in Motion the Futurist. There is a figure based again in Vader. I love the vintage figure of Vader. And it's like a mashup based on the Saltar fortune teller. This exclusive, for example, it has on the back one card to tell you a fortune. So, if you get the toy, you have a car also to know your future or your fortune. Also, I made many toys based on uh, traditional toys from Argentina. Like, for example, Valijita uh, Juliana. It was a very popular toy in Argentina in the 80s. It was um, some kind of very little suitcase. You have the possibility to have the Julian mother or it was all of course it was for girls and I decided to make my own version of those suitcases using the old one suitcases but with feminist content Julian which like to make rituals I made uh, also the Florencia Cultiva that is the same suitcase but with everything related to wheel or uh, to work with the earth. I love to make toys. I don't know why, but maybe it's destiny. I think and I feel that I never stopped to be a child. I feel that I'm a child today and give me a lot of satisfaction. And I used to be an illustrator for many years and I used to love since I was very, very young sculpture. And also, I study anthropology and, uh, and I almost finished my career at the university. So with toy making, I feel that I found the way to mix everything in one thing because I can make comments, social comments, cultural comments through the toys. And that is very anthropological work. And also, I can make the figures, I can sculpt, and also I can paint, and also I can make the draw for the packaging. So it's something that can make me the possibility to do everything in one thing. Every time I make a new toy, I feel that it's the last one. I don't know why, because it gets me so tired because it's make 25 toys of one exclusive, for example, it takes a lot of work. It's a lot of time to make the cast, to paint, to make the packaging, that everything is handmade. And I have a, another job, my regular job, and I think maybe it's the last one, maybe, but I always 
some new idea connected with my heart appears and give me force to still make it. There is something that give you a limit that is the mold because you can use the mold more than, I don't know, 20 times or 25 times or maybe if you have luck you can use the mold 30 times but you have the limit with the mold so when I make a new toy this is the limit for me but then when people ask a lot of that toy that maybe it's sold out okay maybe depends how many people want more? Can I make another mold? And, and it depends if I have the energy. I'm a memorabilia collector. Like I have like a miscellaneous things of GHOs or vintage toys from Argentina. Motu, My Little Pony. In Argentina, there's a big scene of collector. In fact, I live one a big collector that is my boyfriend. My boyfriend is a collaborator for my brand. Time Pisces on the Zodiac. And I feel my name, the name of my brand, Tank and Pop Toys, is related with that because like in Pisces you have like one idea to prove in what down one way and you can go to another way so punk and pop combines two different worlds because I'm part of the bank and I love pop culture of course I choose I have to choose a name that works in Spanish and English so for that reason I choose that name. I think everyone independent in the gender had to follow his dream and more if you want to make toys. If you want to make your toy you have to start anyway. So this is my message for everyone and survive wherever the country is and if it's Difficult in your country, you can make friends in another place with another people because now we have Instagram, we have my WhatsApp, we have everything on our hands to make it possible. You can find me with the name Tank and Pop Toys, wherever the social media is in the Saigas because now we have Instagram, but tomorrow we don't know. So. I'm going to steal with that name so you can follow or find me with this name on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook or email Punk and Pop Toys from Gmail and whatever the social media come in the future we don't know but the name is going to be still being the same Punk and Pop Toys.